Hello, humanities students. This is your instructor, Dr. Barry Graham. Uh, first off, I just wanted to say what a pleasure it was to have each one of you in class today. I'm really looking forward to the semester. Secondly, I promised you that I would send you some instructions in terms of what we need from you before our next class time. Um, most of you have entered the course here in Schoology. Now that you have done that, and hopefully you have done that, I will, I'm more than happy to send you additional instructions on that if you message me. And you can always message me, and when you do, they'll show up right up here in this particular icon. As you can see, I don't have any messages at the present time. This is how the course looks to one of your classmates here, and so I wanted to show you this. As you can see, there's not much showing on our website right now because we haven't pushed out the Let's Get Started folder with the syllabus. I still need a little bit more time to tweak that, but I will have that well in advance of Wednesday's class. So, the most important thing between now and Wednesday, this is what I want you to do. Go to this uh, week's one through four, topic one. This is the laws of logic. Notice that your textbook will not be required for this topic. This is to give you time to get an inexpensive copy of the, te uh, of the textbook. rather. And there are rental options. There are digital cop uh, options available. And this will all be in the syllabus. But if you want to go ahead and go to Amazon.com, anything like that, to get a head start on any of that, and see what might be out there for the our textbook, which is the Culture and Values textbook, the 8th edition. But right now, I want to show you your assignment between now and next time. A couple of things. You'll want to go to Topic 1, click on it, and the primary assignment here are these two things. How can you be sure you know anything, which is a discussion assignment. And then secondly, you can get uh, a head start on the first video lecture. Let's look at this one first, the how can you be sure you know anything. You'll simply click on it. It shows you the rubric that we use to evaluate this assignment. And here is the video with the YouTube link that it'll take you to. You'll click on it. Hey, Vsauce and Michael good here. Old Vsauce Where are comes your up, fingers? And he's got a really good presentation here. Seriously. You can pause it if you're interrupted. It's a pretty it easy question. Again. I know you guys are no doubt are familiar with YouTube. You can also make it full screen by clicking down here at the right hand bottom. Hit the escape key to shrink it again, and so it's really simple. Then the idea on this assignment is for you guys to have a discussion. Discuss at least one of the main points that the presenter shares, and then other class members can also comment on your posts. And so you'll go down here, click here, and write your comment. And the idea here, as in all these discussion assignments, and please pay attention to this, the idea is for you guys to not just post a comment, but have a discussion. Talk with each other. And by talk, of course, you know, I mean write your comments, respond to each other, just like you might do in, say, Facebook or something like that. This is designed in a very similar manner to this. So by all means, post anywhere from five to six times as you're responding to someone else's post. Somebody needs to get the ball rolling and post first. And then, as I mentioned, please talk to each other. I'll go back to what I mentioned before about the escape from reason narration. This is a video presentation by me. It's narrated by me. And once again, once you open it, you just simply click on the video icon here. And this will come up once you click on it. Well, hello, It'll students. Begin. This is Dr. And Barry you can Graham, watch your this instructor video in Humanities 231. And also I'm going to stop that. Again, you can pause it. You can go back, rewind it, look at any other additional information. 
So go ahead and get a head start on that, if you would, please. There will be a pop quiz over the material in this lecture one. And then, of course, you know the other discussion assignment that we just mentioned. All right, that's it. Thank you very much. We look forward to seeing you at 8 a.m. in class on this coming Wednesday. Thank you.